Pioneer Farm has been an integral part of the University of Wisconsin Platteville since the inclusion of agriculture as an academic program in the early 1900s. Despite the move from campus to its present location in 1957, the mission has always been to maintain a working laboratory of production agriculture to demonstrate to students and stakeholders of all ages and levels. While agriculture technology and best management practices have evolved since those early days, the mission remains true today. We continue to focus on educational, research, and outreach activities as they relate to production agriculture and the environment. Pioneer Farm consists of 430 acres with some of the best soil in southwest Wisconsin. Our gently rolling fields are managed with conservation in mind and are rotated between corn, oats, and alfalfa on 325 tillable acres with an additional 65 acres of pasture. Our livestock enterprises include dairy, beef, and swine. The new dairy center was built in 2007 and houses the lactating dairy herd with 180 free stalls. The north side of the barn has 80 stalls with hospital pens, holding area, and a double five herringbone parlor, while the south side has 100 stalls with capability for two robotic milkers. The free stall barn is also equipped with a chain manure scraper, box fans, cow brushes, sprinkler system, and a Lely Juno robotic feed pusher. The free stalls have rubber cow mats and are topped with sawdust for bedding. The dairy herd is predominantly Holstein with a few brown Swiss, and all cows were born and raised on the farm. We currently milk approximately 170 cows twice a day with our milk sold to foremost farms for use in cheese production. The lactating dairy herd receives a total mixed ration fed once a day during the morning milking. The ration includes corn, corn silage, and hay that is produced at Pioneer Farm along with purchased ingredients to balance the diet. Cows are housed in four groups based on factors such as age, production, and stage of lactation. All dairy cows are artificially inseminated and bred based on production and type. The dairy cows wear two collars, one SCR collar for monitoring activity and one RFID collar for data collection in the parlor when being milked. The SCR activity collars track rumination and can be used in determining heat cycles for reproduction. These activity collars can also aid in determining health issues earlier, allowing for more rapid management and treatment. On average, 15 to 20 student employees are working in the Pioneer Farm Dairy Center at any one time. The new dairy center uses the scraper system to push manure into pits on the east end of the free stall barn. From these, the manure flows to holding pits before being pumped underground to our manure separation building. Here, a Borger screw press separates the solid manure from the liquid manure. The solids are collected in the separator shed and then used for composting with other solid manure from the farm. The liquid manure is piped into our 3 million gallon clay lined earthen lagoon where it is stored until being applied. After crop harvest each fall, liquid manure is applied to our fields by a professional custom applicator using equipment that injects the liquid manure into the ground via a drag line system. Solid manure is composted on a farm in a manure pad near the old dairy center or in the compost shed near the swine center. The solid manure includes separated solids from the new dairy center, bedded pack from the beef, bull and dairy heifer lots, and manure from the swine center pits. Composted manure is either applied on farm, sold to local farmers for off-farm application, or most recently is being bagged and sold to customers for gardens. All liquid and solid manure applications on farm follow our nutrient management plan, which is updated each year. The Dairy Center also includes access to our hillside pasture where the Agro Ecosystems Research Program is conducting grant-funded grazing and water quality research using heifers and lactating dairy cows. We rent additional pastures for our bred heifers to graze on during the summer months. The old Dairy Center was built in the late 80s and is now used for raising our calves and young stock. Our calves are raised in the old dairy barn and housed in calf tail hutches. 
we use a milk pasteurizer for preparing milk that can be fed to the calves. After weaning, the calves are housed in the outside hoop structures before being moved into the old dairy center and the heifer lots. The maternity barn is the oldest facility at Pioneer Farm, built in 1959. It is currently used as a maternity barn for our heifers and cows. It is also used to house dairy animals that students show at the district and state shows in the summer. The Swine Center was built in 2005 and is considered a hog high-rise facility. This means the hogs are housed on the main level with slatted concrete floors, which allow the manure to be collected in pits underneath. The slatted floors in the Swine Center are commonly bedded with recycled shredded paper from campus. The Swine Center pits are ventilated to increase drying and cleaned a few times a year when the manure is removed and either land applied or composted. When the pits are cleaned, a carbon source, which may be corn fodder or solid separated manure from the dairy, is used in the pits to soak up the liquid swine manure. The compost shed is located behind the swine center where windrows of manure are composted using a tractor and pull behind compost turner. The swine herd is made up of purebred Berkshire and predominantly crossbred pigs. The purebred Berkshire hogs provide a niche market and sell at a higher premium than other breeds. We maintain 60 to 70 sows, which are mainly artificially inseminated. Pigs in the swine center are sold both as feeder pigs and market hogs based on educational needs and market prices. We also raise a group of show pigs each year. We breed in the fall and farrow in January through March. These pigs are sold at a show pig sale held each April for 4-H and FFA children to raise and show at local, state, and national contests and fairs. The Swine Center facility includes office space for the Swine Center manager and a utility room for the students who regularly work within the facility. There is a restroom, a shower, and a laboratory and holding area within the main corridor as well. The Swine Center includes a farrowing room with 14 crates. After farrowing, the baby pigs are weaned at 21 days of age. The breeding and gestation room provides group housing for the sows and boars. The farrowing and breeding and gestation room are on the west side of the Swine Center. These rooms are designed to house and finish approximately 1,400 pigs a year. We limit production to educational, research, and show pig sale needs. Students working in the Swine Center show our pigs at local, state, and regional events. This has led to an increased awareness for our show pig sale and the opportunity to market semen from high quality genetic boars owned and or managed within the Pioneer Farm Swine Center. The Beef Center was built in 1969 and houses our herd of approximately 40 registered red and black Angus cows. The beef herd has access to the outside lots, working area within the beef shed, and the riparian pasture along the Fever River during the summer months. We use synchronized artificial insemination for breeding of the beef cows for spring calving. Calves are raised from birth to feeder cattle age and typically sold to local farmers for finishing in the fall. The beef herd are fed hay and a TMR ration when not out on pasture. Annually, we host the Wisconsin Beef Improvement Association Bull Test. Consigners from the tri-state area bring their bulls to Pioneer Farm in early November and the test concludes with the WBIA Performance Bull Sale held at Pioneer Farm. The WBIA Bull Test is the oldest in the country beginning in 1957. We have approximately 100 bulls consigned each year with the predominant breeds being Black Angus, Simmental, and Red Angus. The bulls are fed a TMR ration and after a 28-day acclimation period, they are performance tested for 100 days. During the 100-day performance test, they are weighed monthly and evaluated based on average daily gain, weight per day of age, and adjusted 365-day weight. An ultrasound of the bulls is completed at the end of the test to detect back fat, ribeye area, and percent marbling. Those bulls that make the sale based on performance and ultrasound testing are also fertility tested. The sale, held on the first Saturday in April each year, 
provides local and regional beef producers the opportunity to buy performance-tested bulls for use on their beef cows. Approximately 75% of the bulls in the test will qualify to be sold in the sale. All crops produced at Pioneer Farm are used for livestock feed. Corn, oats, and alfalfa are part of a three-year crop rotation and provide corn silage, high moisture corn, oatlage, haylage, wet wrapped hay, and dry hay for the dairy, beef, and swine units. Conservation tillage practices are used on all fields other than those which are no-till. Cover crops are commonly used after corn silage harvest if weather and timing allow. Nearly all crop production fields include grass waterways. The feed center and silos provide enough storage for both on-farm grown commodities and purchased inputs, allowing us to grind and mix our own feed. The machine shed provides storage for both Pioneer Farm and Case IH leased machinery and equipment. It also includes a repair and service area. Outside the repair and service area is a digital scale where we can weigh crops, manure, and other commodities produced or used at Pioneer Farm. Since 2009, Pioneer Farm and Case IH have partnered on a governmental lease agreement that provides new Case IH farm equipment for faculty, staff, and student use. This no-cost lease agreement provides the opportunity to use the latest farm equipment on the market each year. This has greatly reduced our need to purchase expensive farm equipment and has reduced our repair and maintenance costs. We work with our local dealer, Richie Implement, in Cobb, Wisconsin, and have developed a partnership that has continuously evolved while benefiting both parties. We greatly appreciate this opportunity. Since the start of the Wisconsin Agriculture Stewardship Initiative in 2000, there has been ongoing water quality and agroecology research at Pioneer Farm. Surface and groundwater monitoring stations are located all over Pioneer Farm. They continue to be updated and renovated with new technology to allow for improved data collection and monitoring. These water monitoring stations collect runoff data during heavy rain events and spring snow melt. These water monitoring stations are in the crop production fields and pastures. The Agro Ecosystems Research Program has conducted significant grant-funded research over the past 20 years, evaluating the relationship between agricultural production and environmental conservation practices with a focus on its impact on water. Data collected includes information on sediment and nutrient loss from different production practices and weather events throughout each year. Pioneer Farm engages in several outreach activities each year. We host a variety of farm tours for prospective students and their families, community members, school groups, and other organizations. We host high school and collegiate judging contests for dairy, beef, swine, and soils competitions. We have hosted the Lafayette County Dairy Breakfast and Ag Day on the Farm events for the community. Field days and other educational programming have been held at Pioneer Farm and hosted by staff members or local extension agents. We held a day on the farm in conjunction with the Platteville Area Chamber of Commerce Ag Tourism Committee to support the agriculture industry in the tri-state area. Annually, we hold a two-day pre-vet camp to provide high school students educational programming and hands-on experiences related to the field of veterinary medicine. The Ag Technology Center at Pioneer Farm was built in 2004 and provides a classroom, conference room, and office space for faculty, staff, and students. We host educational training, workshops, and other events with university, public, and private entities. The main hallway is lined with posters highlighting our mission, production enterprises, and agroecology research. The Quality Liquid Feeds Atrium includes historical pictures of Pioneer Farm and awards received. This facility also provides a central meeting location for visitors to Pioneer Farm. The Cooper Living and Learning Center provides student housing for School of Agriculture majors that would like the opportunity to live in a cohort at Pioneer Farm. The facility includes an apartment for the resident advisor, suites for students, kitchen, dining, and lounge areas, along with a large outdoor space. 
The University of Wisconsin Platteville Pioneer Farms supports the vitality of Wisconsin agriculture. Pioneer Farms' mission is to provide on-farm experiences for students, to evaluate management practices, to conduct systems and applied research, and to communicate education and research to students, agencies, producers, and the public. Thank you for your interest in Pioneer Farms.